Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the World of Juice Hoops channel, and welcome back to another episode of the Oral Roberts Dynasty here on March Madness 2005. We are back. We completed our first full season in the Dynasty. We didn't go dancing. We had a little bit of an upsetting end to our conference tournament, but we had quite the interesting offseason last episode. We brought in a few interesting two-star prospects, two-star recruits to bring into this squad to help out the boys, who I'm very excited to play with. We also got an invite to a new conference. I couldn't believe it either. I could not even believe it myself. We are now in the Midwest Conference, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's the conference we're in. We now got added to that. We play teams like Colorado State, Utah, New Mexico. We play uh, BYU, the Mormons. We play Wyoming, all kinds of crazy different things. But that's not even the most impressive part. The most impressive part is we've got Duke and the Ohio State University on our schedule in the non-conference. It's going to be quite the month. We're going to simulate here. Let's get moving on. But first, we can uh, take a little bit of recruiting. Look a little bit at recruiting here. Interested prospects. We've got a couple of guys targeted. This Augustine London is a four-star shooting guard that would be amazing to bring in. Absolutely amazing. We're targeting two big-time players right now. We could target a couple of these two-star guys, which is possible. I might go in after them in a few episodes, but right now we're not going to go too crazy. But as of the new recruits, we've got Kern, we've got uh, Clay, Finney, Kelly, Jarrett, Lawrence, all these new recruits. I'm super excited to see them on the court in action. We finished as... The three seed in the conference tournament, the mid-continent conference tournament last season, we had a very good year, winning, what, 16 games in total? I think we won 16 games in total. And uh, we had definitely had 15 games in the regular season, so I think it was 16 games. And we're hoping to match that. As you can maybe see or maybe not see because it's blending in pretty well, we are now a two-star program instead of a one-star that we were last year. And we take on Idaho in the first game of the season. So let's simulate here a little bit and see if we can win against Idaho. No, Udaho. Can we beat them? First game of the season. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. And we get it done. 37 in the second quarter or second half. We win 74-62 over Idaho. Start the season 1-0. It's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful sight to see the first game of the season for the new recruits getting some buckets early. We've got a couple messages in the uh, the PDA that we can take a look at here. Four recruiting messages, and it seems like that is it. So we've got, ooh, Augustine London. We need to go hard on this man. He's interested in us. He's a four-star guy. That would be the highest recruit in our history to get Augustine London. Highest ranked recruit. Uh, Reg Lacey. I like the name. He's a six-star guy. He's not interested in us. I don't know why he's a blue chipper. <laughs> why is he even on our reporting? Whatever, dog. I mean, if he wants to come here, cool. I'll take a six-star guy. Uh, and then Theodore Newman. I remember this guy. He's a six-star as well. He's a blue chipper. He's not coming here. None of those six-star guys are coming here in year two. Once we get to the tournament, we have to make the tournament before we can get six-star prospects. <laughs> Nobody wants to come here. All right, Nichols State is the team next. Game number two, another away game. Oh, we blew them out, 82 to 56. Oral Roberts has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Oral Roberts has arrived. We got more recruiting. We've got Kano Law, scouting report on him. And it says he's a three-star guy. He's pretty much interested in us. That's good to know. Kano Law could be coming here. Augustine London. He's really interested in us. He's We've jumped. We could be having ourselves a four-star prospect, ladies and gentlemen. That's very, very possible. We've jumped to his number one team that he's interested in. So that could very well be happening. 
We've got back-to-backs, this time against Moorhead State. I'd love some Moorhead. And we will beat them in the second half, 87-76. 3-0 start to the season for the boys. Claret has uh, gotten an NCAA violation. He violated team rules. So you know what? I guess we just suspend him for a game. I think I'm doing that right. I'll suspend him for two games. We need to stop getting in trouble. Stop getting in trouble. George Mason's coming up next game. But a 3-0 start to the year is not too shabby. The crazy part is we have Duke coming here to our building. That's crazy. We're not going there. They're coming here. Two more messages in recruiting. Theodore Newman. Why are we still talking about Theodore Newman? He's not coming here. <laughs> Theodore Newman is not going to... He's not going to come to... Or Roberts. He's a six-star blue chipper. Why would he come to Horror Roberts when we haven't even made the tournament yet? George Mason. They're the other two-star uh, program that we're coming up against. We also have US. I didn't even mention we have USC coming in on, on the schedule as well. I think they were just naturally. I added Duke and Ohio State. They're only one and oh, they've only played one game so far. <laughs> Maybe we can catch them off guard. They're not really warmed up just yet. We have full job security. 150. We've got ourselves a winning season. We're 3-0 right now. What's my contract info look like? So we're in year two of eight. Our record in Oral Roberts is 19-13. We've maintained program prestige. We need to beat a rival, and we need to make that NCAA tournament this year. Absolutely. Absolutely do we need to make the NCAA tournament this year. Scouting report on Reg Lacey. That's the other six-star, isn't it? Yeah, he's not coming here either. I don't know why we're getting... I haven't even scouted those <laughs> six-star prospects. And yet they, they're scouting for me. All right, George Mason, are we going to get a W against you? Big W against George Mason. Come on, second half team. Oh, we lose to George Mason. That's upsetting. Our first loss of the season comes at the hands of George Mason, 68-59. That's okay. We weren't going to go undefeated the entire year. There's Kano Law again. Little three-star guy. He's at the top of our list. Him and uh, London are both at the top of our list because they're possibly guys that we can grab but if we go to the conference standings we currently sit what conference are we in again <laughs> we're in the midwest right we're not in the mountain west i don't think we are in we're not in the mid-continent anymore are we in the mountain west? we're not in the mountain we are in the mountain west that's right okay so we're in the mountain west we're down here a little bit af or air force is ranked sixth in the country that's crazy we're three and one Air Force is 6-0. Oh, that's kind of insane. We're going to see how it goes, though. We are going to see how this season goes. We were in the mid-continent last year. We got an invite to the Mountain West, and we took it. 16 points per game for Franklin Scott. 17.5 for Isaiah Walker. 11.5 for uh, Montez Sutton. You love to see it. Ooh, the young freshman Kern has got 7.3. Okay. Beautifully done. How many assists does Montez have? Only two. He's not really assisting the ball like I would like him to do. But that's okay. I would also love to get ranked. I don't think that's going to happen in this season. We'd have to probably beat Duke <laughs> to get on the radar. But I would love to get ranked. We are going to jump in and play Duke. Just because that's the whole reason why I put them on the list in the, or on the schedule in the first place. Number 17 in the nation. Duke coming to Oral Roberts. This is going to be quite the game. Dick, tonight we've got a non-conference matchup. Some of the most anticipated games on a team schedule by the non-conference games. Players get to test themselves against an unknown and prepare against potential tournament opponents. All right, here we go. We've got the seven foot three Derek Jarrett taking this one off the jump, but he couldn't get it. We get to see some of our new additions, like Jarrett, and hopefully he makes an impact here. But this is the first time we have had a team the caliber of a Duke come and play us in our building. We've never had anybody. Franklin Scott gets the ball stripped away. 
We've never played anybody this caliber because we didn't make the tournament, obviously. So we've never played anybody of this caliber. First time. It's going to be a rough one, that's for sure. But Franklin Scott forced that pass. That's going to be no good. Oh, how did Jared get out rebounded there? Because he's a low overall, probably. All right, Isaiah Walker. Passed that up the court. Montez Sutton. He had a breakout conference tournament, and it looks like he's going to continue that in this in this season as well as a senior. I think he's a senior. He was a junior last year, I'm pretty sure. Number 21 for Duke. He's going to take a deep three, and he drilled it. Who is that? <laughs> I'd have to look up the Duke roster from 0405 to see who that is. That's a crazy jump shot or a crazy three attempt that he just did there. And Derek Jarrett, I need you to be good. I need you to be the replacement, but that's an offensive foul. That's unfortunate. Number 21. Ooh, I tried a little swiper no swiping action. Duke leads five to two. They give it to the small forward. Uh oh, block that. Oh, Jared, how'd you not block that? You're seven foot three. <laughs> Thompson has it. He gives to Sutton. Crossover. Montez Sutton. They close the lane pretty quickly. Thompson. Oh, that's stolen away by the Duke players. Not good. Not good at all. We might be outmatched here by Duke. It's a good possibility. And that's a defensive foul. It'll be two free throws for the point guard. Jamie Thompson with the foul. All right, boys. We can do this. We can do this. Don't worry. We got this in the bag. There's another rebound for Jarrett. Get that up the court to Thompson. Crossover. Thompson! Jamie Thompson jams it down. And we've got ourselves a two-point game. Early first half. Hold on, I need to figure this guy out. So let me just pause it really quickly. I'll bring up the roster. 2004-05 Duke basketball roster. Who was playing for Duke at this point? Go by jersey number. Number, oh, JJ Redick is on this team. Number four. Okay. Who's number 21? Demarcus Nelson. Demarcus Nelson is number 21 for Duke. And J.J. Redick is on this team. That's the only other guy that I recognize. Is J.J. Redick. Reggie Love. That name sounds familiar. But J.J. Redick's on this team is number four. He might have graduated already. Because this is year number two, obviously. But if you see number four out there, it might be, uh, might be J.J. Redick. That's not him. That's number 13. He missed it. Thompson with the board. And I accidentally alley-ooped it. I hate myself. I pressed right trigger on accident. And that is a bad thing. Oh, Nelson, no good. He tried it again. This one time it didn't work. Crossover Marquez or Montez Sutton to Jamie Thompson. That's going to be blocked and rebounded by the center. I think JJ Redick must have graduated last season because he's not on this team. He would be starting for sure. Jared with the block. Murphy. You can tell the guys that are recruits because they actually have names. <laughs> In a few seasons, everybody will have teams with uh, everybody's named because everybody's original players will have graduated by this point. By that point, Franklin Scott to the basket. Franklin Scott drills it. Good job, Franklin. He's their highest rated player for a reason. He is our highest rated player for a reason. Demarcus Nelson with the ball. Can I swipe it? No, I can't swipe it. And that's going to be a nice little lay-in. Easy bucket for Duke. Montez can't get it out. He finds Franklin Scott who drives to the basket. And Franklin Scott will lay it in. Keeping us in this one is Franklin Scott. I wouldn't have it any other way. Although I'd like Montez Sutton to do a little bit. That's not a... How is that a defensive foul? He literally jumped into me. What do you want me to do about that? That's not my fault. I just stand in there, minding my own business. He jumped right into me. Jamie Thompson. He didn't really get a lot of playtime last season. He was just riding the bench all year. Maybe this is going to be his breakout year. He ties it up at 10. Down low, it's Murphy, the freshman big man. He spins around. He's got it up, and he drills the lay. Derek Jarrett not playing very good defense for being seven foot three, But he's going to go in. He's going to pump it up, and he's going to miss it. I miss Luther Davis. <laughs> Murphy oh what a bounce pass and they lay it in with ease we gotta play better defense than that gotta play better defense than that Scott to Jarrett back to Scott 
Franklin lays it in. Turtle power, baby. Turtle power. 14 to 12. I'm surprised at how competitive we've been in this first half against Duke. This is a blue blood, blue blood organization. That's a hard foul. It's not a hard foul? Okay, they're not going to call anything. He made the bucket anyway. No, don't step out of bounds. I, uh, I'm trying to pass it. He wouldn't let me. That's annoying. So this is a blue blood program that uh, does not mess around. And we are staying competitive with them for the most part. Nelson has it. He finds the point guard. Down low. And it's a nice bucket, man. We are just not getting defensive stops that we need. We are not getting defensive stops that we are asking for. And Derek Jarrett, I mean, that's not going to work. That's just not going to work, Derek. You got to be better than that. Franklin Scott lays it in. Tough shot. Offensive. Is that offensive foul? Oh, we're not getting all the calls. We're playing against a blue blood now. <laughs> all the calls are going in their favor. You can't have Duke get upset by a team like Oral Roberts. That would just be bad for business. So you got to get all the calls in their favor. Got to get everything. That's a hard foul from Jamie Thompson. It's okay. It's a little ambitious to play against Duke in year number two, especially because our best player or our best recruits were two stars this year. And I don't. None of the two stars are even out there. I don't think Derek Jarrett was a two star. I can't remember. He might have been. Franklin Lay, it's good. Franklin Scott, 19 to 14. We're still in this game. We are still in this game. We just got to hit a big three after we get a stop here on defense. If we can do that, block that, Derek. Derek, you're seven foot nine. Block a shot. Good God, Luther Davis, I miss you. Isaiah Walker for three, no good. I was just forcing that one. That's that's a bad shot. Just trying to force it to make something happen here. I can't even get a steal. Oh, oh, Thompson almost had a steal there. Derek Jarrett. Good enough defense, I guess. I see you, Walker. And I'm going to try to get it to you. Blocked by Duke. And we will end the first half down 21-14. to 14. That was a tough first half at the end, at least. We were staying competitive for the most part. But a lot of stuff did not go our way. And now into the second half. We need Montez Sutton to step up like he did last season for us. He misses the first shot. Not a good start. Uh-oh. Duke point guard just going right to the basket. And oh, man, I think we're just outclassed. I think we might simply be outclassed against Duke. Which is not a surprise. I mean, I knew going in we probably didn't have a chance to win. But I was kind of hoping maybe something would happen. But maybe we get a little bit of magic to happen here in Oral Roberts. But it doesn't seem to be the case. It looks like we are going to just get bullied by Duke. But in a couple of seasons, when we're a better team, and we finally landed some five and six star prospects, we are going to murder Duke. We'll come back here. We'll remember this game, 25 to 18. We will remember this game, and we will come back here in a couple of seasons, and we will hopefully down in there at Cameron Indoor, or is that North Carolina Stadium? Or uh, Arena? Or is, no, I think Cameron Indoor is Duke. I can't remember. We'll go down to Duke, and we will uh, we'll beat them in their ball or in their building in a couple of seasons. Just not now. We're not ready now. But it's good to know. I mean, they're a top twenty-five team. They're Duke. We're a two-star program with a bunch of scrubs. We're not supposed to beat Duke. Twenty-nine to eighteen. They're starting to really pile it on now. Starting to really create some separation. Isaiah Walker fading three, no good. Those are the kind of shots we're going to have to make, though, if we want to stay competitive in this game and not get absolutely blown away. But we'll see what happens. That's a miss. Rebound by Jarrett. Sutton up the court now. Montez Sutton, I need you to play like you played in the conference tournament. But the competition was not as good as it is now. Franklin Scott couldn't hit the shot. Four minutes to go in the game. 29 to 18. A three from Nelson. It's good. I mean, I mean, if, if you're playing against a team with a guy that's hitting shots like that, you can't beat them. Because we're not going to be hitting shots like that. That's just that's just the plain and simple of it. We're not going to be hitting shots like that. So if a team that we're playing against is hitting those shots, we got no chance. Because we just don't have the quality to hit those shots. 
and we certainly don't have the quality to play defense. Because Duke has gone into the paint the entire game, and we've just let him go. Derek Jarrett sucks. <laughs> I want Luther Davis back. He was my favorite. He was blocking like 19 shots a game. 34 to 18. Duke is really blowing themselves away here. Franklin Scott. I mean, they got two big men down there that I just can't get into the paint. Derek Jarrett finally makes a bucket. I think that might be his first basket of the game. He's seven foot eleven. What are we talking about here? Score some baskets, my guy. If we could get that four-star in London, I mean, that'd just be fantastic for next season. Getting a four-star prospect in here, he'd be our whole team. Because <laughs> we're going to lose Isaiah Walker. We're going to lose probably Sutton. We're going to lose Franklin Scott. We, we're going to need somebody that we can get buckets with. So getting a, a little four-star prospect would be fantastic. And getting that three-star would also be awesome. Uh, was it Kano Law or something? I think his name was. We're down by 17. Make that 19. Down by 19 points. This was a tie ball game at one point. Pretty deep into the first half. It was a tie ball game. And yet we sit here blown out. Franklin Scott can't make a basket. We can't get in the paint. And if we do, it's a miss. Their point guard Nelson is just going right down the bucket or right down the lane and scoring. Doing whatever he wants. We're tossing the turnovers all over the place. Yeah, this this is over. This one is over. It's not going to be good. That's a three blocked by Franklin Scott. Rebound or gets the uh, ball before it goes out of bounds. Montez Sutton bounces. Oh my God. Of course, I can't even get a layup to go. That's the type of game it is. That's the type of game it is. Nothing's going right for us. How does that go? In? I mean, this guy is unbelievable. I can't hit any shots, and that goes in for him? Isaiah Walker, no good. We might not score the rest of the game. We might score, not score the rest of these two minutes. It's a very high possibility, especially when I'm getting dunked on like that by the center. And they're still playing full-court press. Like, chill out, Duke. You're going to win the game pretty easily. Oh, nice little tip in from Jamie Thompson. I'm liking Jamie. He's playing pretty well today, considering what's gone on. <laughs> he has played pretty well. Under two minutes to go in the game, just put us out of our misery. I mean, <laughs> I feel bad for anybody that may have taken us on the money line to get an upset against Duke. Maybe they thought we were a, a spunky-looking team that maybe could have gotten ourselves a, a nice little upset. Oops, I wasn't paying attention. Could have gotten ourselves an upset against Duke, but yeah, that's you just lost some money on that. <laughs> we are not upsetting Duke, not by a mile. But it's okay, we weren't meant to. We're not ready to upset Duke. I put him on the schedule as a test to see where we're at. And clearly, we're not ready for the, the, big, the big stage. We're not ready for a team like Duke. But we are ready for teams in our own conference, I would assume. We won three games in the non-conference at the beginning of the season. So I feel like we're ready to go against lower level mid, uh, Mountain West teams. Probably not ready to take on like Utah or BYU or teams like that. But I feel like we're ready to go for the majority of the conference. We'll probably have a decent seed in the tournament. As long as everything stays, everyone stays healthy, everything stays the same. Good steal from Isaiah Walker though. They just got this big man that patrols the paint. It's hard to get around him. Sutton does a good job there, and they call a timeout. Really, Duke? There's under a minute to go, and you're calling a timeout when you're up by 49 to 25. Are you, are you cereal? Are you are you fruity fruit fruity jacks? Oh, they brought in their their backups. That's why they called the timeout. How disrespectful! How disrespectful! Under 30 seconds to go. They brought in a freshman Soto. Decent defense. Is he going to shoot it? Or is he just going to... I mean, the shot clock's going down. He's going to have to shoot it before the, the clock actually goes out. Five, four, three, two. He goes up. He misses. Jared gets the board. Three, two, one... No good, and Duke will come into Oral Roberts' building and absolutely destroy us. Not surprising, and not really frustrating. I mean, the, the more frustrating part I have about that game is 
how bad we got beaten. Because I feel like we could have been a little bit more competitive. I don't think we should have gotten beaten so bad. What's our PDA say? We got a message in recruiting uh, from Nathan Daniel. He wants a t-shirt. Okay, dog, you can have a t-shirt if you want it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if that violates recruiting rules or not, but whatever. Uh, we've got Morgan State. They're one in three. This has got to be a W. Get back on track with a big W against against uh, this team. I've already forgot who it was. <laughs> who is it again? Derek Jarrett. You got to be kidding me. What violation did he do? Team rules. You got to be joking, dog. Our starting center suspended for this game against Morgan State. Unbelievable. Hopefully we can get the win regardless. And we can. Oh, no, we can't. We scored 15 points in the second half and lost. Oh, my God. That's embarrassing. Three straight losses. How do you lose? How do you score 15 points? Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 15 points in the second half is all we score. We had a big lead, too. A very big lead. Frustrating. We're going to have to beat USC now. We are going to have to beat USC if we want to have any chance of saving the season in the first month. We started out so well. We should have should not have lost that game to Morgan State. They are not that good. All right, we got three messages from the athletic director. Don't let a rival do yada, yada, yada. Lack of training, yada, yada, yada. Dynasty extras. Oh, I don't, I don't know anything about Dynasty Extras. Oh, we have another message? What was it? Was it recruiting? Oh, it was recruiting. I didn't see that. Uh, Nathan Daniel, he's that six-star. Oh, no, he's only a one-star. Oh, I don't want him then. <laughs> There's probably a reason I didn't go after him. And then here's Kanu Law. Kanu Law, ooh, he's dropped. He's, his interest has dropped a little bit. That's not good. We might have to keep keep up on him because I kind of want Kanu Law to come here. Big game against Ohio State and USC coming down the pipe. But we got to go take a look at this recruiting here. Kano Law, I don't want you to leave. Augustine London is the four-star guy that we're trying to get. We're pretty close on him. We've only got one scholarship. That's the only problem. And I think I have to offer that scholarship to Augustine London. That just makes the most sense. I don't know how we get more scholarships. Can I cut people <laughs> to get a scholarship? Because the Kano Law is not going to come here if we can't get a scholarship, obviously. So I don't know what's going to happen. But I've offered that scholarship to the four-star prospect, our most impressive prospect to date. Are we going to be able to beat USC? We beat them by a point! We get back on the winning streak by beating USC by a singular point. That's crazy. How come we couldn't beat Morgan State then? Kind of frustrating. We couldn't beat them. We now play The Ohio State University in the final game of the month, November 30th. What's this PDA message? One recruiting message. It's from Jack Robbins. Okay, I guess I'll send him a send him a message, whatever. The Buckeyes are 1 and 5 on the season. We're 4 and 3. This could be a victory for us. I guess we'll find out. Let's get into the game. Oral Roberts is having a solid season so far, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, this team has two faces. I asked the coach which version of the team is going to show up. And he said that lack of preparation is the reason for their inconsistencies in the past, but that they're prepared tonight. We'll see. Here we go, Buckeyes versus Oral Roberts. Derek Jarrett has returned from his two-game suspension. And we'll see what we can do against the Buckeyes. They're not having that good of a season. They are, uh, that's not a good start. That's an offensive foul on Jamie Thompson. They're one in five, so we can capitalize. I do have the Buckeye roster uh, opened up on my, my phone so I can see who's playing on this team. I remember some of these guys. Matt Sylvester, number 40. He's not out there right now, but Matt Sylvester, number 40. Uh, 
Tony Stockman is who I was thinking of last season. I don't think he's here. I think he might have graduated already. Montez Sutton to the basket. He is denied. Shooting guard number 15 could very well be Rick Billings. I think that might be Rick Billings. This is in Quan uh, what's his name? In 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 Wonko. In Wonko, that's his name. The point guard. But they lead 5-0 on me, so I gotta start scoring here. Franklin Scott to the basket. There we go. Good job, Franklin. Turtle power. Uh oh, uh oh, where you go? Where you go? Where you go? He just ran right to the basket. That's where he's going to the basket. He just ran right through me. Why can't I do that ever? <laughs> I guess because I don't have talented players like that. Get into Franklin Scott. If anybody's going to be the talented player, it's going to be Franklin Scott, and he's going to shoot two free throws. We didn't shoot many free throws last game against Duke. We shot, I think, only the one set with uh, Montez Sutton. I'm pretty sure those are the only free throws we got. Every other foul call was on Duke, or was, was in favor of Duke. 7-4. Uh-oh, uh -oh, you're going to drive down? He just stepped out of bounds. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Appreciate you stepping out of bounds. That's not good. That's a bad pass, and that's a bucket for the Buckeyes. No, he missed it. He put too much sauce on it. Man, they, they closed the, the ball very quickly. Let that go out of bounds. That'll be our ball. This game's hard to score on. I'll tell you that much. Down low. It's Franklin Scott. They almost pushed me out of bounds. They pushed me to the side of the uh, the apron. Or the apron. The uh, backboard. Scott, no good. Man, the Buckeye defense down the paint's a little bit tough to get through. But we can do it. I have faith. You gotta have faith. Get that up the court. It's Isaiah Walker. I got some space. Isaiah Walker! How do I miss that? How does one miss a jump shot? That was easy. I had separation. Just needed to drill it, and I didn't drill it. That's not a defensive foul. He bumps me. I didn't even barely jump. Are you serial? Unbelievable, dog. Unbelievable. The foul calling in this game is crazy. Jamie Thompson. Good couple crossovers, but he doesn't have the speed to break through. And Derek Jarrett. I mean, you're seven foot nine. You got to do something here. Eight to six. We got this. We're a good basketball team. We just had a rough little stretch there. We lost three games. That's a nice jumper made by the Buckeyes. Crossover, crossover, crossover to Jarek Jarrett. And I uh, couldn't get it. I hate you. I want you off my team. Man, this guy for being 7 foot 18, he's just upsetting me. That's decent defense. I had a hand in his face, and it didn't freaking matter. He drilled the three. Why can't I drill a three like that? The world may never know. Sutton at least makes that bucket. 13-8. to eight. That's down the court. Play decent defense. And Jarrett, you, you don't even have any presence in the paint, do you? You just let everybody walk right over you. It's kind of frustrating me. I only started you because you're seven foot eleven thousand. I wish you would actually be good. I recruited you because of your height, not because you were good at basketball. So use your height to your advantage. There we go. Isaiah Walker drills a big three with two people in his face. I gotta get Derek Jarrett back there in the, in the paint so he can mess up the next basket. Fifteen to eleven. Uh-oh. Nice oh, a little step, and that's going to be an and one. Unbelievable. The foul calling is crazy against me. Can you please not call fouls against me? I would appreciate that. I didn't even get the rebound. And it's another foul. They'll shoot two more free throws. It's unbelievable, man. It's. I tell you, they're against me. I can't do anything. I seriously can't do anything. It's like I might as well not even be on the court. Another rebound by them. Can we please not? Jamie Thompson. Uh, let that go a little too early. That's on me. I tried to shoot the, the layup before I was in layup range. 
But this one should work. Jamie Thompson, good job. Good steal from Sutton as well. Good steal from Sutton. Playing good defense. 18 to 13. Oh, he's trying to get another swiper. Swiper, swiper. Nope, couldn't do it. Oh, Jamie Thompson. I mean, they're just hitting all the shots. They don't miss. This Buckeye team's not playing very well this season, yet they come to play us, and they're hitting everything like they're freaking Jesus. Franklin Scott, our best player, misses that layup. And look at that. He just, drive, he just, he just drives right down the post against all odds. Luckily, he missed it because he dunked it too hard, I guess. I don't know what happened there, but luckily he missed it. But there's not much I can do there. There's a reach-in foul, unfortunately. I think they're one away from the bonus, so we got to be careful here. Down low, it's the small forward. He will take a tough shot. Misses it. Thompson with the board. Why don't you go to the basket, Derek Jarrett? You're freaking 18 feet tall. Get to the basket, dog. 20 to 17. Can I steal it? Swiper? Scott. Decent defense. That's going to be a shot that is going to go no good. And I didn't get the rebound. I thought that I got the rebound. I pressed the jump button to get the rebound. He didn't get the rebound. I thought I got the rebound. Isaiah Walker, no good. I, I don't understand his release. I made the shot earlier. I thought I did the exact same thing. Get over there, Scott. I was trying to get you. Oh, my God. I was trying to get him over off of his guy. He wouldn't get off of his guy. Franklin Scott, no good. Uh, this is, it's over. We lost this game. Unbelievable, dog. I know it's only the first half, but it, it's, it's over. There is absolutely no world in which we win this ball game. And that's the frustrating part, because this Buckeye team's not that good. They got one win on the season. This is our chance to beat a team that's actually like a big name team. We just can't stop them. They're making everything. They're literally making everything that they want to do. And we can't do anything. There we go. Good job from Jamie Thompson. Good shot. Oh, that's a steal from Sutton. And a layup. And he got it. Montez Sutton. Good defense. Another swiper, no swiping action. Play some solid D. Oh, I tried to swipe it again. That's a foul. You gotta be kidding. Uh, the Buckeyes are getting every call, dog. They are getting every single call in our building, which is insane. He missed one, made the other. They're playing full court defense. Which is annoying. He loses the defender on the crossover. I was trying to get a foul there, but of course the little guy can never get a foul call. And I reached in? Are you joking? I barely even pressed the button. I didn't even know I was close to him. Oh my god. Uh, can we please have a possession where we don't foul them? It's unbelievable. Every single time down the court, it's a foul. Buckeyes... Get a call. Now, if I was watching this game, because I'm a Buckeye fan, I'd be happy. But I'm playing against them. Oh, my God. I cannot do anything against this defense. And Derek Jarrett gets it swiped away. I am going to pass away. I can't believe this. We can win this game. We are the better team. I know that's crazy to say, but we are the better team than this Buckeye roster. We got to beat them. He's going to make this. I, they have not missed a three. They have not missed a single jump shot. Like, are you serious? They've not missed a single jump shot all day. How is that even possible? Good job from Scott to make that. And we know that Isaiah Walker is not going to be able to hit any shots. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Uh, Derek Jarrett with another foul. This dude is the worst. 
He's just a bag of potatoes. He's bad. He's not good at basketball. Why did we recruit him? Because he's seven foot three, probably. But he's he's not good at the thing called basketball. This is just annoying, man. We should not be losing this game. We should be better than this team. We're getting blown away by a Buckeye team that had one win coming into the game. We are a better f basketball team than the Buckeyes. It's a crazy statement to say in the grand scheme of things, but it's true. We are a better basketball team than them. We are just not good right now, and they're making every... S you got it. You know what? No, I think that would simulate the game. Or it wouldn't simulate the game. We gotta fight through it. I wanted to quit out, but it doesn't have a simulation to send to the end button. Where's Isaiah Walker? Is that gonna be good, good? Like, I don't understand his release. I don't understand it. I feel like I'm releasing it at the exact same time that I make it. Like, the same uh, time that I when I make the shots, I release it. I feel like I'm doing it that exact same time, but it's just a miss every single time. It's kind of annoying. Not kind of, it really is annoying. Play defense, play defense, good job. Finally, they missed a shot, but of course when they miss shots, they get a freaking rebound, and Derek Jarrett fouled out, because he sucks. God, I hate him. I might start the other guy. He's not as tall, but I might start the other guy, just this guy, uh, Kern. He's, I think he's only seven foot. But I might start him just because I freaking hate Derek Jarrett. Sucks. He's literal dog water. He's not even fake dog water. He's literal dog water. At least De uh, Kern can get a freaking rebound. Two forty-five to go in the game. Buckeyes doing whatever they want, basically. You're not getting that shot up over me. Well, now he is. He wasn't initially going to get it, but then he went around me. 42-27. I can't believe this game has gotten away like it has. Super annoying. And I got it stripped away. I was trying to pass the ball. Oh, my God. I just don't want to be alive right now. I just simply do not want to exist right now. Can the Buckeyes please fall down or something? Because I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm I'm sick of it. I'm just straight up sick of it. I'm straight up sick of it. I don't even want to be here. I don't even want to be here. Uh-uh. I don't want to be here. I hate it here. I hate it here. They're winning by so much that I don't want to be alive. They just can't stop missing, and we can't stop hitting shots. And that's going to be a foul because I don't like it here. These refs hate me. It's a straight-up fact. The refs hate me. And we're even in our own building, and we're not getting the calls. Buckeyes are getting every single call that we've ever had. Let's just say we were not ready for uh, big name teams here in year number two. We were not. I mean, we beat USC by only by a point. We got blown out by Duke and we got blown out by the Buckeyes, who had one freaking win this season. They had lost every other non conference game other than one. One freaking win this year, and we come they come in to play us, and they, they stomp us. Like, we're not even the same level of competition as them. Kind of insane. <sighs> Rightio, Ranger Joe. At least we can look forward to playing some teams that are on the same level as us. I am impressed with Jamie Thompson, though. From what I've seen in these two games that we played against Duke and Ohio State... I am impressed from what I've seen from Jamie Thompson. He hasn't done much, but when he has done, he's he's looked pretty decent. That's a nice sign for the future, for the tournament at least. 
Shooting guard down to the small. There's Matt Sylvester. Flores in the game now. He gives it to Sylvester. Sylvester finds number 42, who gives number 21, who gives number 23, Michael Jordan. Oh, bad pass. They were passing that ball around like crazy, and they finally just gave it up. Franklin Scott, no good, and that is the game. We got destroyed. Absolute demolished by the Buckeyes. Wasn't even fair. We had no business beyond the same court as the Buckeyes. Yikes. That was that was a brutal game. That was a brutal game. That was probably more brutal than the, the Duke game. Mainly because we probably could have won that game if things would have went better for us. But we didn't. And now we have a pretty open month of uh, December here. Only, what, five games? So maybe we can get on, on our winning ways here in the next episode. I will take a look at these PDAs as we get closer to the game. And then in the next episode, we will start simulating December. Maybe simulate into January a little bit, because this is the final month of uh, non-conference. The conference games will start opening up pretty soon, in January. I'm hoping these PDA messages say that we got ourselves a recruit. We will play Virginia Commonwealth, Chicago State, who we played last year. They were in our other. They were in the Mid Continent. Tennessee Tech, St. Mary's, and Marquette. All right. So out of all these teams, we have to come away next episode. I would say at the least four and one. I don't think we can beat Marquette, but maybe we can. But we have to beat these other four teams. That's just that's just the way it is. We have to beat those teams if we want to be a, a tournament team this year. Dynasty Extras. Wait, what does that say? The team probably needs some extra work. Looking to purchasing some Dynasty Extras. I'll take a look at that, I guess. I don't know what it is, really. Scouting. Uh, two messages. Jack Robbins. Does he want to be here? No, he doesn't. He's a six-star. Why are we going after six stars? We can't get them. Augustine London declined the scholarship? I decided to take my game to another school. I think they're a better fit. But we're the number one school. You're interested in us. ORU is Oral Roberts. I can't... I can't believe this. I can't believe... He said no to the, the screw. Go to us! I'm going to offer him the scholarship again. See if maybe he changes his mind. We're his number one uh, school. How does he not want to come here? I don't know, but that's going to do it for the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We started season number two. It's off to a rocky start. But now that we're done playing Blue Bloods and teams like that, maybe now we can actually get some big time wins. So... If you guys enjoyed the episode, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I truly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.